one based on these stats is one of the more challenging ones. Um, only 2,000 people have completed it, and it's been uh, almost over 20 hours since it was released. So let's see how I fare. Um, so let's start by reading the puzzle description. Ooh, there's a, a space object there. Past the, um, past the orbit of Neptune. Ooh, it's Pluto. Uh, it's a maze of, of Pluto. Okay. Which one has a start <clears throat> and an end? There are also portals. Labels and empty space are not traversable. Oh, I see. But, um, Oh, empty space is not traversal. Okay. And then pass through the maze doesn't require any portals. Um, starting at AA, you could go... Yeah, you could follow this pattern down here. Okay, so I, I buy that. Um, sure path is from AA to BC. BC comes out there. DE comes out here. FG comes out here. And then, yep, you just go like that. Okay, I follow that. Oh... Okay, uh, traditional techniques like um, the the reason that, that Eric has done this is he has done this in order to break um, algorithms that assume that the minimum distance, um, or sorry, the, the maximum distance one, the minimum distance one might need to travel is the uh, straight line distance. Um, so this breaks uh, ASAR. Okay. Um, in my maze, how long does it take to get from tile mark A to the tile mark ZZ? Okay. Um, so I think even though the heuristic based approach does not work, a standard uh, flood fill should work at least for completing part A. So let's go ahead and open up the puzzle. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's not too many states. Um, and feel confident in being able to do that. Okay, um, over to my terminal. <clears throat> so let's feed this maze in, um, which looks like this. Okay. Um, uh, wait, what? Oh, I see, because OS is one of the tiles here. Yep, okay. Um, parsing is immediately going to be somewhat of a concern. Um, okay. So, where is my last maze? My last maze was day 18, so let's copy over the day 18 solution and work from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap that around. So let's pop open my Twitch dashboard real fast while I add it. Cool, okay. So, don't need this cache key anymore. We do need a state file. Okay, I believe that. Um, cool. Okay. 
Okay. All right, that should take care of that. <clears throat> now, okay, we read the input file, split a new lines, so this all makes sense. Um, let me run into the challenge. Um, the problem is I can horizontally read labels, that's fine. It's the vertical reading of labels that's going to be a little bit more problematic. Um, okay. So, let's see. Okay, so we no longer have to worry about where the player is because we know that that's where uh, the empty ZZ is. Okay, uh, actually we do need that. Um, Oh, start and end are both coordinates. We have a path of the list. And then we have a corals, which maps cord to cord. Okay. <clears throat> and I also need, for now, Do that for now. Okay, so if it's a hash, it's not passable. Um, it's a dot, it is passable. Um, if it is a letter, not passable. Um, let's actually just define those as not passable in general. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I didn't see your question um, earlier. Um, oh, we still need do nothing, do nothing. Uh, do I always code in Nano? Yes. Um, with the exception of when I use Glitch, um, glitch.com. And uh, why are my integers red? My integers and my con and my string constants and all of those other things are red because uh, uh, user share Nano uh, because that is configured to be red. Hope that helps. <clears throat> okay. The integers are red because I made them be red. Yes. Um, uh, okay. Now, uh, so now four range letters. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, 
down. Up, right, down, left. So, which side is a passable dot character? Then create a portal. We need temporarily also a um, <clears throat> okay. We don't yet know what pairs to what. Um, so let's see this. We need that. Let's approach the parts that I know how to do, and we'll solve the parts that I do not know how to do yet um, some other way. Okay, um, so... How is it structured? So if ZF appears there, then there's also a ZF somewhere else in this maze. Are they always read top to bottom? Let's go look at the example to check. <coughs> so AA is here, VT is here, and the other VT appears here. Okay, so yes, it's the sequence left to right or uh, top to bottom. Yeah, JO and JO. Okay, so it's left to right and top to bottom always. Um, but it could be either up or down from there. Okay, cool. I need to document these things. Um, let's see how we handle this. Okay. Okay. Up is y minus one, I believe. Assuming that I parsed this correctly. Yep, four y and then four x. Okay. left. Oh, 
Okay. Now we know that one of these two cases is true. So okay, the other character is So let's check right and check down. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we know actually it's fine. Okay. Um Okay. And <clears throat> Ah, line 35. What did I do wrong here? Oh. There we go. Uh, that was not very helpful, Nano. Uh. Oh. Right. There we go. Great. Now it formats correctly. Good. Um. Uh, let's blow away all of this. Um, use the character below as the second of the identifier. Um, all right, and now. my bell just rang. Yeah, would you mind checking? It? Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's say coordinate. Um, Finally, uh, 
I bet Victor ordered the breeze of the wrong part. Entrances. I think our front doorbell just doesn't work. Here. Kind of close okay. 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 The screen is closed. So yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, I ate already. Deal. Except we would keep this. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, okay. Let's see this. Um, if I'm standing on a portal square. I want the next move in that direction. Ah, okay. So I need to name Oh, la, 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 la. okay. Okay, understand this. Um, let me just draw this. So, if I have two points on the maze that are connected like this. I'm standing here, and I get a request to move right, and I should wind up on this square here, and vice versa. Okay, um, it's going to take a little bit more wrangling, um, because it means that This guy here when I move here, it needs to spit me out here. But when I move there, it has to spit me out. Yeah, okay. The here's 
yeah, okay, let's see what the best way of symbolizing this is. So, let's see it. Okay, so when we have... this uh, yeah huh so I can't just directly map those two entrances together because it has to be valid okay I see. Um, we need to make this that. That'll do. Okay. to be spit out the video. Okay. So now that feels better. Um right-hand side is possible, then I need to use O. Otherwise, source is L. Similarly here, source is O, source is L. Oh, whoops. Uh, Now I follow this. Cool. I think I understand what I need to do here. Um,
Vale. Good. Um, okay, I believe that um, because now this is the post moving location, so we don't wind up circling people in a circle. So that's good. Um, great. <clears throat> okay. Do I have cash keys anymore? No, I just have. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do this search then. Um, so we don't need any of this code, just need don't need this code either. Um, ah, does A star apply anymore? No, A star does not apply anymore. So I cannot use, cannot have that heuristic. Wait, what's the requirement of A star? A star heuristic must if the heuristic function is admissible, meaning it never overestimates the actual cost to get to the goal, is guaranteed to return a least cost path from start to goal. And fortunately, Unfortunately, because I need to, okay, so I can, I can develop a, a heuristic, um, but, but initially I have to estimate the cost is zero initially, and then later it may be the cost to get to the closest portal instead. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's correct. Okay. Um, Cool, it's fine. Okay, source dest. I don't need these things, uh, but I do need that. Okay. Uh, I don't know this yet. Actually, I do know.
Okay. Um, and do I know the minimum distance from any portal? I need a cache of that. Um, What if there were a sequence of portals? <clears throat> what if there were a sequence of portals that took us closer and closer? Um, we're never allowed to underestimate. Uh, we're never allowed to overestimate, but we can always underestimate. Yeah, okay, so, consi so considering the distance, yeah, okay. So the underestimating case is we go to the nearest portal, and then the nearest portal is, and then we compute from that nearest portal straight line to the finish. And that will... Will that ever underestimate? Yeah, that could underestimate if there is, if there are a sequence of individual portals that, that I could go through. Um, okay, I'll have to think about this more. Let's just treat this as one for now. That's always going to be safe, and I can always revise this. Okay. Um, D is less than distance, then in distance, and be improved. Also need to assume that if I'm standing next to a portal that I could intakes where that I could take. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. All right.
Okay. That's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Um, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Um, yep, I keep a list of longest distances. And this is it here. Okay. and portals. <clears throat> okay, let's hit it. See how that does. Uh, I don't need maths. I need sort. I do need strings. I uh, cannot use rune as type chord at line 104. Okay, and here we shouldn't encounter this case. So that should be that. Okay. So, um, is wrong. Um, we need to find this. Ah, it's not portals, it's entrances. Entrances. Uh, line 146. Uh, start and portals. Oh, passable. I need, also need passable. Okay, and line 196. Ah. Right. 143. Oh, because I have to find starting and cord here, but I actually don't need to. Yep, okay. Failed to pair at least some portals. Why did they fail to pair? Okay, um... Oh, because it's entrances that needs to be here. Okay. 
Yep, okay, that parses. Um, okay, let's feed it some sample inputs. Um, like, for instance, this maze. That yields a path that is 58 long, and the example concurs. So let's go ahead and feed in my result of 568. That is correct. Great. Part two. Um, so we connect to larger or smaller copies of the maze. OK. Um, All other outer level tiles are walls. Inner labeled tiles connect to a smaller copy of the same maze. Oh, oh okay, I see. Um, I see. So every inner here connects to an outer. So that CK is going to be on the outside and it indeed is. Okay. Got it. Um, so how do I know whether I'm on inner or outer? Um, oh, I actually know because the inners... Ah, okay. Okay, this doesn't feel so bad. Um, let's go ahead and first commit my code. And I didn't wind up, in fact, needing to optimize my uh, A-star search any further, so that's great. Um, OK, let's just tap that YubiKey. OK, on to day 20B. Uh, I hate typing. like that. Okay. Um, so now we have the Z, the Z property. And mm. no, this is not quite right. Um Distance heuristic is now wildly off. Um, so 
how do I avoid a backtrack? Let's assume it takes at least one in order to move from Z layer to Z layer. And really, we know it would be at least the width um, yeah okay that's fine okay this is all fine here um The move here is now do it um great now how do i know whether i'm on one second this is not quite right I know whether I'm on the inside or outside of this. Um, simplest way of telling this is to just look at uh, is to simply look at this. Um, it's literally are we in the top two? Or alternatively, are we in the bottom two or rightmost two? Um, so let me just store this really fast. Is length of split of zero again minus 
one rather than two. Okay. Now. Now when I'm defining, let me just do this really fast. I need to search through every place where I had a two-dimensional chord and change it to a three-dimensional chord. I don't like this diff that I'm introducing. I'd almost rather have a chord plus um, type, but that's fine. equal to on the inner ring we increase the z offset otherwise z offset is negative one um the other thing is okay a and z are still marked as that Am I allowed to go to the outer layer when I'm uh... No, 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 no. Only outer la labels A and Z function. On any other la layer, A and Z count as well, but the outer la yeah. labeled ones count as. Okay, great. Um, cool. Great. Um, I see a video game. I joined the video game. All right, I'm in a hole. Let's yeah. see. 
there's nothing else in this hole. Uh, right, I'll, I'll, I'll try to contain you again. Uh, I do you need my coordinates. How do you chat? Let's see. Yes. Uh, there's a binding. Yes, for it. I don't C, know. Z oh, is zero. Anyway, that's where I am. Then please come and save me. Do my best. Can we just return? Hopefully, you get here before I starve to death. That'd be the ideal situation, I think. Well, I'm in a box. I'm gonna read Wikipedia in this box. Okay. Uh. Make sure that I didn't I break my part A. Your, your gear is in a chest outside of here. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um. We just chill for a little bit. Eventually, the sun. Uh, is that is. That'd be nice. Oh, whoops! Didn't do that. Um. So still yields fifty-eight long. Oh, whoops! I'm not showing my screen. Sorry. Um. That's my bad. So that shows 58 long, which should be correct. Let's test my regular input. That still yields 568. Okay. Well, now, uh, um, I'm, I'm let's close. feed okay. in a second example I'm file. Let me know when you're close and I'll dig out. Okay. Um, second Excuse example me, file oh, I is... See you. I see you. Or rather, I see your name. File. Yeah, uh, I don't know where the J are, so they die. 20, simple 2. They might be in the chest. Or... Yeah. All right, let's feed that in. Uh, anyway, I can dig out. You're real close to me. Ooh, yeah, that's not reachable. Why does that think not reachable? I just dug out. That's probably. Okay. Um, let's see. Hi. So, uh, because I didn't project enemies. the work that I recently oh, did, uh, I added a Z, Z dimension, um, yeah. where Z is your depth. Where are you? Um, uh, I'm back. I set... Oh, oh okay. I see the problem. Um, this needs to be... Oh. Anyway, just come to where I am. Sources need to always have... Ah, no! Oh, I'm trapped. Uh, Are you trapped? I. I died. <laughs> Opposite source. Oh. Yeah, that should be fine. Well, the sun is coming up. You should just come over. Okay, here. so yeah. let's see. I killed one mob, but uh, these guys are on lot, here. And I'm going to run out of health. Yeah. I might have some armor in the shit. Chest. I don't remember. I'm really close to dying. No. Ah, I'm dead. There we go. Yeah. We might there want to leave move this no Z. Yeah, they can be an adventure for us for later. Yeah. Okay. Here, why don't we? Yeah, I just found an egg. Why there we go. We so that yields 244. Does that align with what yeah. we expect to see? No, this should be like 396. No, we didn't. Um, oh, no, we got a bunch of like 
gems and stuff. Why is I mean, that showing a shorter it, path like than it's expected? Is, um, it, is it still in a chest there? Yeah. All right. Well, we can go get that one. We're better here. So let's test this. Um, or this boat over there? Yeah. It's on the water. So we're trying anyway, to um, get. What are we actually doing? Well, I'm going to need to shear some sheep so I can... Uh, I think I'm poisoned. All right, so let's I've print out all of my things. portals just to make sure that we have this correct. Um, I'm in our house. Can you look at me? <sighs> okay, so my portals I say... I see green bubbles. Every coordinate... If you hit uh, um, your inventory button, do you see them? Why do I use Nano? Uh, it's the editor that I started using um, uh, when I first... Learned to use Unix uh, about fifteen, about sixteen years ago, and oh, I've been using it ever since. Anyway, um, the main reason I used Nano was because I literally couldn't exit VI and I couldn't exit Emacs, and therefore Nano was the only editor that actually did what told me how the heck to use it. Okay, let's see. Does each of these? I'm just really curious. Um, how do I fix this? I need this? some wood to make some stone tools, Ellie. No. Uh, I really kind of square one because I grabbed a bunch of logs when I uh, went exploring. Okay, let's try. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and find a tree and punch it. Uh, Add some debugging logic. There we go. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, that's correct. What's your favorite color? Said offset needs to be. Ellie. Yeah. What's your favorite color? Green. Um, to make sure that that's correct. I don't know why I have green bubbles on me. I'm asked to go yeah, minus like one. Uh, yeah, that's, that's correct. Otherwise, we can go. I got yep. some wood. OK. Those weird snow desert biomes. Uh, let's see this. Where is this? Ah, here we are. So I have 13 ins, 13 outs. So that seems to align, I think. This map, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. OK, that, that's correct. Um, so let's try to identify every time I make a Z layer move and try to figure out, uh, let's try um, to identify okay, if I make a Z do? layer move. Uh, um, I am going to make a syntax. Okay. We have bounce upstairs. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, okay. I Um, oops. <sighs> I hate and justify. I'm going to go look for some more iron. Okay. Right. All right. How are we on iron? Um, uh, here. Great. Cool. Um, that's okay. That's a decent amount. Yeah. And we have a full stack of coal still. Do we need wood more badly? Um, so let's use some wood. Yeah. Find I hope out. It'll a little bit. Oh, it's snowing. Day two. Twenty simple yeah, dot input. Um, this is this maze, isn't it? It's the. Oh, nope. Simple two. That's 
this maze. That looks correct. Yeah, that, that matches. Um, okay. This is indeed... Yes, yeah, so we've got all the outies and the innies correct. Um, let's get it to print out... How do I get it to print out the shortest path? Um, Let's change this to I'm gathering wood, Ellie. All right, let's let's do it this way. I, I don't love doing this, but because it's inefficient and expensive, but we'll do it just so we can just so we can trace it. extra trees to replant with from? Uh, as the trees sort of decompose, some of them right. will uh, drop that way. Gotcha. Let's print our debug traces this these. way. Um, drop a lot of uh, little tree parts. Uh, planting new trees. Oh, I left a tree stub here by accident. Whoops. 
it's raining. Um. Do it. Okay, so let's uh, check this. It is raining a lot. So I go to yeah. um, it's yeah. Okay. Not bad. Hey man, back with a bunch of wood. Thanks. So let's see. So what about this is illegal? Oh, cool. So according to this, I need to get to depth 10. Here, indeed, I do get to depth 10. So that, that seems to follow. Um, Sorry? I found more iron in our smelter. Why is my distance calculation wrong? Uh, let's try this. Um, Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. Um. I mean, I go to sleep. Harvest the wheat from the underground. We check too. Ah, Seventeen steps to Ellie. Seventeen steps to recurse to level to level one. Um, then I heard Mom it claims it should be eleven steps to get to the next step. Um, I need to print what what's at that coordinate. Um. Okay. What should I? Uh, what should I do next, Ellie? Um, well, we wanted to build like a little more of a farm, right? Yeah, we could do it above ground, or we could do it underground. Um, how do I do this? Oh, I don't even go, know this. Um, um, okay, so portals. Ellie, I do, do you know think what I the should portals try and are. Level up another um, hilltop to build a farm on it, and then we can. I don't think you need to level. Let's... Just like look over there. Over there. Uh, do are... I know what the entrances okay. were? The... No, let's let's not do this. this this way. I don't know where you are. Um, oh, like for the grassy area? Or... Yeah. Okay. Oh, like on top of that? Um, yeah. It's like, it looks pretty flat. Yeah, I'll just need, I need to make some buckets. Um, no, I did. To get some water up there. That's fine. Um, and then I'll need some seeds. How do I? For whatever we want to plant. Let me get some, uh, get some buckets. Oh. Buckets must be iron, right? Guess yeah. I can specify. Damn it, I've made this hard to debug. You need to make an eternal water okay. source. Is it three? It's you know what? Four. It's fine. Okay. Let's do this. I guess I've made four um, buckets. Okay. So. Now that we have some food, I might gear up and try to root. Retrieve that uh, crate. Okay. What am I doing that's illegal? All right, I'm gonna go and start building a farm on that. I must be top. doing something that is illegal here. There is. 
creatures over there, Ellie? Um, what kind? I, I don't know. Look at them. H23. Oh, those are pillagers. Uh, X equals H, uh, Y equals 23. Uh, some, okay. Uh, um, some, like, armor and stuff. H comma twenty-three. They're in this town. They're in the place that I need to go. Twenty-three. Maybe Vincent. Suit up. Suit up, cowboy. I'm just gonna plant more trees. Well, 813 is definitely XF. 8. All right, can you kill the pillagers? I'm coming. I just, I'm making a shield. Thank you. 18. 29. What? I don't know if they moved. Okay, so. Because I don't see them anymore. 8, 13, 1. She did not take all of her wood. Eight, 13, 1. X of 8. Oh, I can get seeds for different kinds of trees. 13. I think. Ah. I mean, every tree drops a different kind of sapling. That's true. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to so get I some think... deciduous saplings. Because I want to plant some trees around the farm. I miss parsing. I'm doing this wrong. Um. If I found a valid place to jump to, then I jump to it and offset I'll that. Take your anyway. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, that should be fine. You can boost up a bone marrow. Yeah. Um. You don't have any bone marrow though. Eight thirteen. All right. Let me go. Let me go do. Is it that eight thirteen sounds really wrong? Um. I don't want to get pillaged. Uh, let's print this out really I fast. See any, You're a mom. What? You're a mom, Lord Ryan. I don't know if I see a pillager. Yeah, I swear I saw them before, but maybe hey, they you just... saw them on my screen. Yeah, maybe they just decided to leave you alone. Okay, so. I can hear a mob from where I'm This is. Yeah, I mean, that just kind of happens sometimes. Here's zero. This is spooky. Dog! Oh, I wish I had a bone. It became dog. Fuzzy. So this will this spit out. Much. Let's it's let's make clear what Dang. this is spitting out to. So it, like, so harsh. Uh, okay, let's try running that. Ah, what's wrong with this? I do wrong here. Oh, percent D. There we go. Oh, there's already like a pot up here. Okay, so what? 8131 is 8131. So I'm going to OA. And then eight twenty three two. Eight twenty three. OA C J. So I'm finding a completely different path. Um what if I trusted my logic and said 
and said, I think that this actually is correct, and I think and I think that the example may be wrong. Is it curved? What happens then? I'm going to try putting this in. It's too low. Okay, so for some reason, I'm doing something invalid with this path. Um, so let's try finding out what's wrong with with this input then. I just I don't find myself. I don't know. So is it true that I can go to? Is it true that I can go to OA in seventeen steps? Starting from the start, which is at AA, can I get to OA in 13 steps? One, oh, I see my problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 steps. Does take me to OA, but it takes me to OA going the wrong direction. Ah. Okay, I see my problem then. Um, so my problem is that. Yeah. Ellie, is there some kind of like. My problem is that this is problems? incorrect, that this logic uh, is opposite. I don't know. So usually you have like um, water that like flows down channels, right? Um, and then how far out? So if L dot Y. Uh, and then, like, you can only really equal to adjacent blocks with yeah. water. So minus one. But like all the all the like hardcore layouts I've seen for um, farms, just like oh no, that's like, that's one row and then crops on either side of the water. Ah, so the water flow distance. I I understand. So this is actually correctly winding up here. But where's the OA that it's going to? It's going to this OA over here. How did it even find that OA over there? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What the heck? OK. Now I think I understand. Uh, it's getting dark again. No, I think I understand what's going right. wrong here. Uh... <sighs> okay, I need to print the previous Hello. place that I was. Hello. I have returned with a bunch of buckets of water. Nice. And I am headed back home, I think. Um What it did previously. I sleep, Ellie. Uh, I'm to get home. Where are you? What? Where are you? Uh, I don't know, really. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
hoping our home will come into so view. So things have successfully time. made it to Sorry. 1334. I can tell you what the coordinates are if you want. So, sure, 1734. Are Where did 1734? That's... Uh, oh, wait, never mind. I see it. OA okay. of minus 1. OK, so it shouldn't have been... allowed it shouldn't have been allowed to do that should have detected that that had a minus sign attached so why did it which one is this next why did it do that uh, oh it's yours Okay, I think I understand my problem. Ah. Can you fix that? Oh, uh, it is specifically a quantity of the input. Um, remember that you are supposed to recurse step by step into the maze and then out of the maze. So you have to go level oh, wait, by level by level. And in fact, the answer does call for you to go uh, from one, two, three, or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So that's that's normal. Um, no, I, I, I think I know, I see my problem. Um, right, my problem is at the previous step, I was at a yeah, portal that I was ground. not allowed to walk through. Um, Actually, we have a lot of and I walked through it meetings. anyways. Yeah, I have 27. Nice. Let me go plant and, it, and it put me somewhere that I shouldn't have been. So 1734 negative 1 goes to 1831. 1734 1 goes to 1831. 1. So. Yeah, this is 1734 right here. And then I got portaled around to, to 8131, which is here. But I shouldn't have been allowed to go out to go in an outerly direction. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I just inverted the sign here. Okay, now I get 396, which is the correct answer. Um, I'm not sure why that sign error happened. That shouldn't have happened, but okay. So now, now this is now this is correct. Um, uh, so to. now I can I just delete this debug like, code. Yeah. Um, and delete this debug code. Um, and delete this debug code. Let's make sure that's safe to delete. Yeah, it is. We don't need to keep track of the path. So stop keeping track of the path. Hi. Hello. I'm putting down some water. It. Yep, 396. Take away that. 6546. Let's try that. That's correct. Okay. I still don't understand how I got that backwards, though. Because um, you would think. This is what I'm pretty sure is weird. Um, ah! Oh, oops. shit. Um, Just pick it up shit. again with the bucket. It's OK. How? That's what oh, I think is super go. weird. Um, 
That was less than or equal to one, right? Like I don't know how that happened. This yeah, should I cause the. I think I accidentally made an infinite water source. Uh, Z yeah. offset. Well, I mean, like I have, I made one on purpose up there. That well structure is an infinite water. Yeah, source, the Z, the Z offset should. I think I accidentally made an infinite waterfall source. What does dash dot Z do? Drop the water bucket. Yeah, I did. That's fine. Um, oh, now it's that's fine, fine as well. Oh, did I break it? I'll fix it. I fixed it. You and I stole two different it watches at the same time. It jumps to negative one. We could make this flow infinitely if we wanted to. If we wanted a waterfall or something. Yeah, I mean, there's already water sources. Oh, I see the problem. What I'm saying here is the other end of this. Yeah, okay, I, I see the problem. Um, All right, um, I'm going to plant a bunch of weed seeds. Right. Yeah, this this is if yeah. I arrive at this portal right. from this, uh, if I arrive at this portal, what should my Z have done? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, my math is just confused here. Um, so I'm going to change this to from... Yeah, Z I'm offset just for clarity to okay now this makes sense so if I arrive at the outer ring having uh if i arrive at the outer ring having having jumped in from the inner ring then i need to go up by one but if i arrive at the inner ring having jumped outbound then i then i need to go down go down a level okay now that makes sense i just yeah i just, I just had inverted the case of this great okay i think that finishes that quite nicely so let's go ahead and here i'm gonna give you my wheat seeds what other cleanups do i need to do what uses no Z? <coughs> this uses no Z. This uses no Z. Um, so you can plant while I hope. Yeah. Actually, most things are using are using the uh, standard coordinates. So I think that's fine. Okay. Let's have a look at the diff. Um, Whether use part B logic. Um, oh, and let's make sure I didn't break part A. I don't think I did. Sorry. You can't yep, 568. Okay, cool. Um, so going back to my diff, add a new Z dimension, um, add something to strip off the Z. Um, I need to always use the starting coordinate scheme is is with zero as the Z coordinate. Um, don't allow jumping through portals in level zero. Um, yep, that seems fine. That accounts for the new line at the end. All right, there we go. Um, uh, I have one more set of weed seeds that I'll drop. That's okay. Yep, I changed so the name of this to be less confusing. Um, yep. That's fine. Okay, I trust that. Okay, that's a pretty simple diff. What are you doing? I'm labeling our chops. Oh, nice. All right, so uh, that finishes off my day 20 stream, and I will see, maybe, actually, no, no, today is a, uh, today is a lovely, fun uh, yellow pill day, so um therefore i am going to go to bed early like a good person so i'll see folks maybe tomorrow maybe sunday depending upon uh how hard the method trucks it gets me so have a good night